the wonders of urban planning. This is Peterborough. Very interesting. All the traffic's over there. You can just sort of hear it gently humming in the distance. Uh, housing over here. And these walkways in between. People keep whizzing past on bikes and, and on foot. Um, so the two are separate. I think it's really rather pleasant. And I think this is where I'm going. Number 123 which looks completely deserted. They must be around the back. This is the home of Kevin and Ruth Hulibeck. Now, Kevin's called us in to surprise Ruth, who's been spirited away. And just down this, excuse me, back passage, we should find a little garden we're about to transform. <laughs> <laughs> the jokes don't get any better then. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. You, you must have got up early then, if you're time to come in and crack jokes. Uh. Kevin. Good morning. Very nice to see you. And you too. So who's that? It's my twin brother, Ian. I was going to say, it's all like looking in the mirror, isn't it? <laughs> Good to see well, you. Well. Goodness me. Um, now, tell me, really, we had to surprise Ruth. You've got rid of her. How? Well, Ruth's on a 12-hour shift, yeah. which is pretty handy. Uh, so she's at work today. Yeah. And uh, Ruth is under the impression that I am decorating the bedroom well with Ian. She doesn't actually know Ian's here. So she thinks that tonight, uh, because the room's going to be in such a mess, she's going to be staying around her parents' house. And she's oh, back at work tomorrow, and I'll pick her up at the end of her day tomorrow. Well, let's just have a look at this little plot here. Mm -hmm. What, <laughs> in, in an ideal world, what's Ruth really wanting of this piece of grass and pink and grey paving? <laughs> <laughs> but what, she really, like? what she really does like is to get some decking um, sort of in the area here, because the sun comes round on yeah. this side. And she's always after a water feature. <laughs> and uh, the corner over... And that yeah. side. The grass has never... Well, you're not going to see an awful lot of grass when I've finished, right. if that's right. Are you particularly partial <coughs> to that grass? Um, not that grass, no. <laughs> well, that is all going and there's no more coming, because hopefully what you're going to get is that. Um, wow. The overall feeling in this is a violet and lavender. Right, We're talking yeah. purple rooms here. Nice. I'm just yeah. trying to keep my courage, that's the important <laughs> thing. Um, your deck goes out into that corner, like that. Uh, running off it, is a pool mm -hmm. with a fountain. Large planting over there by the That's fence, nice, which yeah. is actually painted lavender. And the planting in pots is actually galvanised containers. Um, and here, I'm taking up some of these flags because you wanted alpines, I know. So we're going to put nice. little alpine plants in with shale around them, which again picks up that lavender colour. What's this? You've been testing the paint colours there? No. <laughs> well, I, yeah, I was wondering. It's artistic I interpretation. It was you see, I mean, why do I bother? That's I mean, you come in here, you know, you give them a bit of art. What do you get? This is oh, contemporary is chic, this. Painted pots, and they sort of slot every now and again, just a sort of shaft of colour, like like a sort of Star Wars thing. Classy, right, right, a very contemporary, yeah. I, mean, I try, I try. <laughs> she turns up of a morning, cracking jokes, and laughs at me painting. Well, that's what I want to do. Anyway. Excellent. And she's got a big pond there to keep her occupied. You know, she'll be up to her knees in muck and fountains. <laughs> that's a big pond. Do you like the look of it? Yeah, uh, I must admit, getting rid of the whole lawn, uh, we make our lawnmower redundant, and it's part of the family. Is it? <laughs> well, no, a piece uh, of grass down the side. Yeah, we're thinking actually of paving that area to use that for the <laughs> washing line. Uh, so you want a bit of grass in there somewhere, do you? We wouldn't have minded. <laughs> yes, fine. Well, look, I'll just go and paint something else. <laughs> Long. <laughs> we caught up with Ruth really? outside the local supermarket and asked her a few questions. Ah. Our market researcher asked Ruth about 24-hour shopping in a rising gale. Um, uh, well, um, yeah, I suppose it is. I mean, I do shifts myself, so um, it's quite useful for me. Um, but I don't think I'd want to be here in the middle of the night or something. But, um, yeah, I can imagine for people like me who do shifts, it's quite a good idea. Yeah. And what sort of things do you want to buy in the middle of the night? <laughs> well, when I'm on night shift, <laughs> food to keep me awake, really. <laughs> yeah. Thank you very much, Indy. OK, bye. bye. I'm none the wiser. You know, I've never been at my best on flat land. <laughs> Get that turf up. I don't care what he says. If turf is going down there, it's not going to be that. Self-doubt is not an affliction that TV garden designers are known for, but this one likes to give people what they want. Kevin wants a lawn. And I'm digging it up. Oh, dear, but dither time is in short supply when you've only two days to work with. to lay turf, would it be like that? No. I've had a word with Kevin. He now understands why it's difficult to have turf in there. Excuse me, you know, are you doing anything? This is 
for him. I'll just, can't I'll, please I'll just finish people. removing the rest of the turf. Yeah, I've got one of my heads coming on. So how comes you're not at work today? Um, well, I'm actually a student. Okay. Um, right. I'm studying uh, and training for being a social worker. And this is how this all came about, really. Uh, because last year we had our 10th wedding anniversary and we had decided that as a present for that we were get our garden redone. <laughs> because I had to give up work, we just had to put it on hold. And Ruth's been great in supporting me through college. She's working really hard and... So you're a kept man then? Oh, I am. Yeah, How yeah, nice. I am. <laughs> and um, basically I thought it would be a great, a great way of saying thanks for all that she's doing to help me through college. And say happy anniversary. How do you think she's going to react? I think she'll be absolutely stunned. Kevin, now you have to live here, so I don't want to inflict something on you that you, you couldn't live with. Right. Sounds very You see honest. the fence? Mm hmm. The fence is called lavender, right? right? Yep. You see that piece of concrete lintel there? Mm hmm. I've painted it with a colour called lavender haze, which is a masonry paint. Can you cope with? the garage brickwork being that colour. Yeah, it looks great, doesn't it? Are you sure? Yeah. I think it does because I think it picks up from the lavender. If you go close to it now and look at it, it looks a bit brighter from here, but when the whole thing's done, you'll notice it's really quite lavendery. If you're off mm. for it, that's good news. We're doing good so far, so trust yeah. you on this one. <laughs> yeah, looks good, thanks. Right, yep. well, while he's finishing that, I could get started on the wall. Kevin, you were meant to say no, you hate it, so we can do less painting. It's all right, I'll do it. Been about three inches taller. Ooh, pizza man's here. It must be dinner time. Oh, we're stopping for lunch. No. No, we're not stopping. Not even for ten minutes. You sit down. You never get back up again. Hi, it's me. Oh, hi, love. How are you doing? Yeah, fine, thanks. Yeah, going okay. Coming together for you. Yes, thank you. Yeah, yeah. How about yourself? Mm. Very, very busy day. Oh, is it? Very stressful. Oh, why? I suppose the way it started off, I couldn't really, do you know what I mean? Yeah. So you're just on wall, don't you? Yeah. That's right. So we'll see you later on? Yeah, darling. I'll okay. To it. And you? Okay. Love you. I'll give you two rings, shall I? When I'm ready to go, will you just be here? Uh, if you give two rings, it'll be easier, wouldn't it? Sometimes you're late. Okay, then. Okay, love. All right. Bye. Good rest of the day. Yeah, and you. Love you. Bye. She's oh. having a very stressful day. <laughs> oh, didn't she sound fed up? That she's was tired. So, she sounded so <laughs> down. <laughs> oh, <I feel> quite <laughs> tearful. <laughs> uh, yeah, she's... Uh, she's well, had a bad day then. So she, what's, very busy, yeah. yeah. Um, well, I say the first time in 11 years, the alarm clock didn't go off. Yeah. Uh, which <gasps> isn't the day for that to no. happen. No. You just put her out of things a bit and... She's just very busy. Poor little sausage. But, uh, yeah, it's a long day for her. She finishes uh, 8 o'clock tonight. So. Does she? And then she's whisked off to uh, <laughs> yeah. another place. <laughs> yeah. I the right way going. We'll be finishing at 8 o'clock tonight. Sounds good. Excuse me? <laughs> you might. <laughs> Ruth's blue and her garden is too. Good morning, Kevin. What's good there? morning. <laughs> good morning to you all. How are you, you this morning? Yes, yeah, well, fine. Yeah, you? Yeah, good. Just one thing, good Kevin. Yeah. You have that fence lowered, will you? <laughs> oh, this is promising. We've done something right. Looking well, good. Yeah, look where the sun hits. So the deck's in exactly the right spot. It's it our breakfast there. spot. Your breakfast <laughs> spot. Mind you, this time Don't of year, you'll be right over in that corner. Sounds good. Against the fence. <laughs> right, Tommy, um, first nag of the day. I need that planked as soon as possible mm. because until you're out the way, as it were, coming forwards, I can't get in and plant around the back. Okay, and then we'll work the deck in this way. Charlie, are you going to get on with your liner? Yeah, I'm going to just start filling it now. I'll find some paint then. Okay, Kevin, can you turn it on? Okay. It's on. And so is Charlie's washing that she's snuck into Kevin and Ruth's machine. There we go. Well, that's going to take a while, isn't it? Well, I'll stand and watch it fill up. <laughs> Never mind, dear. At least your washing's getting done. Over 
that in, Tommy? Yes, please. A couple of inches of pea shingles going under the deck to stop weed growth. Can you come and I thought I'd quite like to try and get this gazebo together. Okay. So if we can get that built here while they're doing that. Mm. I think the destructions are in here. What's that then? Gin and tonic. <laughs> That's part of the instructions. You need that to get oh. through it. <laughs> oh no! Screws, smaller screws, pins, destructions. This is good. <laughs> you are the gin and tonic. Assembly guide. Assemble frames from, from the finished shape. shape of your strut. Use the three inch screws, five per upright. Ensure the junction at. Now just follow the pictures. <laughs> it's much easier. <laughs> we'll at 11. Pour large gin and tonic and sip slowly. <laughs> I'll tell you what, we'll do phase 11. And he can do <laughs> 1 to 10. How's this for a wheeze? I'm painting cheap plastic tubs with aluminium paint to get the effect of galvanised metal planters without the cost. Charlie's preparing the ducting that will carry the electric cable to the pond. If you're not competent with electrics like Charlie, get an electrician in. Because we're going to have three pumps in the pond, three different jets, I've got to wire all the electrics in to a junction box because it's easier than running three cables and then using three sockets in the house. I don't think Ruth would be very happy if I did that. Back one. Yes. If you would then do me, once you got in position. Don't be kind, whatever you do. <laughs> Now taking bets. How long before someone says that's not straight? Lucky you're not a girl with a skirt on, isn't it? You're not supposed to be looking at my shorts. Girls nowadays. get it in the neck a bit for using colours in the garden for fences and stuff. But the great thing about a background like this and coloured poles is that it suddenly makes something even more interesting and exciting about a plant. This is privet. A lot of people think privet's boring. Well, this is a variegated large-leafed privet. Ligustrum lucidum excelsum superbum, which makes it sound pretty good. I think it is pretty good. Uh, and against yeah. this blue gazebo and all this, it's going to zing out in the sun. So I just, I've dug my hole, and I want a bit of organic planting mixture in the bottom of it. More mixed with the soil I'm returning. And then this little thing will be quite at home here, and we'll make even a bigger backdrop for the gazebo. Fill in the hole and water it in. Off you pop. Hello. Hi love, it's me. Oh hi. I thought you gave two wings. Yeah. How are you doing? Mm, not so good. Isn't it? If you, you, you have to be sort of finishing on time, aren't you? I just don't know. I've got quite a bit to do. It's quarter past two. I've got to right. see somebody else today. Well, I've got to go out, so shall I just pick you up at five then? No, I don't even know if I'll be finished by five, that's what I'm saying. Though so part of me wondered if I wouldn't be better doing that at home. Yeah, that's true. Clear head. Yeah. So, I'll, I'll do that then, yeah? What? Ring me at four. Well, 
Well, I'll just come around at five. Yeah, okay. If there's any problem, I'll just... Yeah, that's yeah. a good idea. Okay. All right, then. Okay, love. Have a good rest of your day. Yeah. Bye. So what, what was all that about, then? One... She thought she was going to have to work late. Oh, oh yeah. you're joking. But I've got round that one. She's going to do the work at home. Right. Of course, she may find it rather hard to concentrate working at home this evening when she discovers it's more than her bedroom that's been decorated. How do you like that then, Mr Walsh? Very, very nice. Now yeah. that is passion flower? No, you see, it's a bit of a contract, this, because it's a clematis. Oh, but it's not your right. usual large flowered one. This is clematis texensis, a variety called Duchess of Albany. Now, the thing about the texensis clematis is, as opposed to Jack Manii and the other large flowered ones, is they're much more resistant to wilt. And they have these wonderful flowers which are like sort of tubular bells. Yeah, right. There you are, you can see one coming out. Now, is this going to grow up all around the gazelle? Well, as far as you want. The thing about texensis is that uh -huh. at the end of the year, when it all goes tatty and horrible, you can chop it off right at ground level. So you never get that problem. The problem with clematis is, as you will have noticed, yeah. they've not got very nice legs. Oh, that's very true. Well, there you go. You learn something new every day. I'm just trying to adjust the shape so it's not quite so boring. And then when I get my rivers of shale in with little alpine plants around, it breaks it all up without being irritating and getting in people's way when they're going from door to door. Kevin, mm. what time are you going to get her? Five o'clock. And how long does it take to get there and back? Uh, it's only a five-minute journey. Is it? Yeah. Oh, I wonder if you might be going at quarter past five then. That'll be okay. All right. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, she did mention that she might be late getting off, so I right. oh, 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 wouldn't be a problem. Three o'clock. We've really only got two hours, chaps, from now. <laughs> The soil under the slabs is pretty horrible, so we're improving it with soil-based compost, mainly to improve the drainage of this Peterborough clay. Good for brick-making, less good for alpine plants. Alpines, which is a term given roughly to plants that come from any mountainous region, not just the Alps, they almost always, apart from those that grow in alpine bogs, like it very well drained. And this jolliness here now should do the trick extremely well. What they also resent is moisture around their collars, where the soil meets the stem. So to keep them from being splashed by mud and from getting too sodden at the neck, the mulch, you can use grit or shingle or pebbles, but this, to tone in with my lavender fence, is shale, crushed slate. And when I put a hose over this in a minute, it'll turn lavender purple, and suddenly the whole scheme knits together. Well, it will, if we ever finish it. There's still an awful lot to do. But what about, will I do in that bit? Dig it, if needs be. Um, try and show it if you can. No, you've got enough to do that, that's OK. OK. We right. think so I'm out and about. Yeah. Shall I um, contact her on the mobile and say I'll be a bit late? So um, be, you yeah. said five o'clock, didn't yeah. you? Yeah, I could say 15, 20 minutes Say 15 minutes late, because then you'll be back here by half past five, which yeah. makes it now that we have got an hour instead of just sort of three quarters. Yeah? Yeah, that'd I'll be do well. That. Thank okay. you very much. <laughs> That's all the timber from out this part, will it? Come on, isn't it? Wonderful. Charlie, Tommy, we've got about a minute. I almost forgot we were washing. How does this show? Behind here, quick. Charlie, come on. Where are we hiding? Behind here. Try not to be f put my foot on the campanula. Kevin's got her, she's out the front. Come in. Mind me, watch. <laughs> 
Oh, I had a few friends in as well. <laughs> What's this? Oh, wow! Oh, Hello. 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 Alan and Charlie. Hello. 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 You know Charlie and Charlie. Thank you so much. Wow, it's fun. Look, we're all for sorry for oh. a rough couple of days because we've been living them with you. Oh, I can't believe it. This is so brilliant. Oh, wow. thank you so much. I can't believe it. Well, nice award a feature and sort of stacking oh. and. <laughs> Happy what? anniversary. What to me? <laughs> oh, those bibs! You can't stay at home, Well, that's incredible. Oh, that's brilliant. Thank you so much. Go on, have a walk. Yeah, that's a little bit. So, regular backyard to Blue Lagoon Garden in a couple of shakes. Do we make it look too easy? Pleasant way of spending a couple of days, you know. <laughs> Just Ian! a few minutes ago. Fine, I'll bet you're oh. exhausted, are you? Yes. Yes. Oh. Oh. Cream cracker, I'm afraid. I'm sure you are, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Here you are, Ruth. Have a full one. Oh, it's thank as you. As we get that. Thank Cheers. you so much. Come in. Thank you. Tommy, shame oh. that Charlie's holding the tray. Willie, come out behind him. Willie, <laughs> come on. Can you believe it? Oh, I can't. It's amazing, isn't it? Oh, really? We just want to say a great big thank you to you. We are so appreciative. Oh, it's and that's a little cake. Where, just uh, where, a little token of our thanks. Where did you get that? Uh, local supermarket. Oh, very nice. Thank yeah, you thank, very, well, thank very you. Much. Thank you. Ruth, we know you've had a bit of a couple of days. But this is just to show you that the British public does appreciate its Ward sisters. Thank you very much. Oh, thank long, you. long may you enjoy your garden. Thank you I very will. much. Bless your heart. From the Ground Force team. Thank and you. And Sister Ruth. <laughs> Ta-ra! <laughs> I mean, this is more than I could have ever imagined. This is absolutely perfect. Yes. <laughs> this doesn't happen. This isn't real. I want to say thanks for your support at college and happy 10th anniversary. Oh, thanks, darling. Oh, you're wonderful. Thank you.